Santos, uh, uh, Miami, Ohio player. Miami, I always forget there's a Miami. In Miami Ohio. and Ohio, like, yes. Wait, you're from Miami where? What now? The Miami of Ohio Red Hawks. He's gonna be going up against Luma, who again, we saw a bunch of Luma yesterday in doubles, in the double Rob team. They made a great run to second place, but they were put to a halt by Send and Atata, who were just dominant yesterday in the doubles tournament. But let's see how Luma plays in singles here. Coming at you on Pokemon Stadium. It's gonna be Diddy Kong versus Rob. This is interesting. I've uh, I've no always known Fritos to be a Mario player, so we're seeing seeing a little uh, something new coming out of their pocket. Maybe it's specifically versus Rob. You want to have the banana to help challenge. But Rob can play, if Rob gets his hand on the banana in this matchup, he can just destroy you. Because like banana side B is a thing. So many ways to just kill someone off the banana. Got a banana and a gyro. Yeah. I mean that. That is not. That's, scary. that's not fun. That's not fun. That's one thing you have to consider, like, as Diddy Kong, is what happens when your opponent gets your banana, right? I guess you have to do the same thing with Rob's top, but the top is, you have so many shenanigans you can do at the top with Rob, right? If, if he steals the banana, you got to steal, you got to steal the Beyblade. You got to steal it back. Oh, and the, the arm rotor going to take care of business. The barrels, they got out of dodge. They're like, I'm not going to help you. You're on your own, dude. Going all the way to the right. Now Frito's got to answer back. Oh, he goes high with an up air. Not going to be enough to KO. And yeah, okay, Luma is doing a really good job of avoiding monkey flips. These monkey flips are trying to cross up, and Luma does get the, the roll in to help avoid both like the, the grab hitbox and the, the attack hitbox. But Frito's gets an answer with an up smash. Catches you jumping just a little bit too much. Two stocks and beats. Okay, here we go. Uh, nobody home on the on the cartwheel, but all right, we got coming, combos coming the other way with a few smacks. Oh no, that's where you don't want to be, because look at that top doing so much work. Oh, and that was a fully charged barrel too. Just but you were down in the bottom right corner of the screen, nowhere to run. Now Frio's just playing Diddy Kong from behind. And Diddy Kong from behind is pretty tricky to play. You have to try to find a setup in like an F smash here. And this is Rob, again, big boy, really heavy. Some of those earlier kill confirms might not kill as early. Okay. Oh, go. Look, he just barely exactly. stays alive on the up smash. That, th oh, and misses with the up smash there. That would have done it. Up air, not going to do it. Okay. Yeah, so that. That up smash on the confirm that he went for should have been a, a down tilt to bear, like the, the attack cancel bear. Yeah, that would have, uh, several other characters would have been dead 30 seconds ago. <laughs> oh, yeah. But Rob, he's big, he's big, Sturm. <laughs> he's a big boy. Ate his Wheaties. And able to sneak down under the platform. Avoiding these cross up bananas just so well. Luma is controlling the stage. Now Frios has got the gyro. All he's going to do is throw it off the side. Okay, Barry, what's the follow? Doesn't get it. Not going to overcommit to anything. He just goes for those two little up tilts. The second up tilt on the platform could have been something scary. But instead, Frito's staying alive. Oh, hits him with the banana, but eats the laser, unable to follow up. Trading with Nairs at the moment. Ooh, okay, that's gonna cost you. Whiffing the forward smash might be the end of this game, but no, good mash for Fritos. Staying alive. But are you gonna mash a second time? Going for the up throw instead, Ooh. and that actually would have landed on the, the side platform if he was a little bit closer, and that's the difference between life and death in Fritos in game one. Whipped grab there on the get up, and Fritos still alive for now. Oh, went for it, not gonna get it. Up oh. smash, gonna take it, Fritos. Takes game one from Luma here. And this is another pools winners finals. Luma shakes the head, says, I know, I know. Let's get game two rocking. Yeah, the scoop real low. That Rob was like under Diddy Kong. But because we talked about how that bigness can be a strength, but it was definitely a weakness in that instance because the hurtbox was just, it felt, it felt like he had no business getting hit by that up smash, but gets the job done. Now Luma on the back foot. Let's see if he can answer back in game number two. It looks like it's a run back. We get the thumbs up from Fritos on the bottom of the screen. 
No, it's not a run back. It's going to be small battlefield instead. We get jump up superstar. Let's go. Love this track. If you haven't played Mario Odyssey, definitely check it out. That game is fantastic. I've not played it. Uh, I, need, I, was, I was a late adopter to the Switch, but that's definitely one I need to need to get on. But this song's a banger. It's yeah, add a banger. It, add it to your list. I'm telling you, that's one of the best games. Best Mario games in the business. But anyway, we're playing on Small Battlefield. Did Fritos pick this, or is this just the random? Uh, this is Luma's counterfeit. Okay. I, I meant the song. I meant oh, the song? Oh, I didn't see the pick. So. Here we go. Man, uh, Fritos, Fritos getting down here quick here on this big boy. The up smash not going to do it just yet. Yeah, Fritos in complete control of the stage. Uh, yeah, Luma looking for some kind of setup with a down tilt or something, but good spot dodging and awareness of the stage positioning for Fritos is going to help him convert into another up smash, and he is now looking confident in game number two against the top seed of the pool. Fritos. They know what's up, baby. And here we go. We got the, the down throw I love into this everything. Anything he wants. That was the kitchen sink combo, using every aerial in the book and using like the, the landing head of the up air to just keep it going. He's a combo artist. Oh, the up smash whiff and going to eat some damage for it. Oh, here we go. Side B. Nothing, nothing going. The command, he, he command. intentionally yeah. mashed it in order to try to go for some kind of mix-up afterwards. That's how you know someone's comfortable, when they go for the monkey clip, and they don't even take the confirmed damage. They just want to mix up instead. Luma's got to come up with something at the moment. That down smash is something that gets him on the even stocks. Still plenty of work to be done, but at least you're on the board. So here, Fritos got the percent lead, but you can't sleep on the robot. With a falling top, that came from all the way downtown. And it's going to afford Fritos the stage control once more. Oh, taking stock two, Fritos. One stock away from a big time upset here in pools. Let's see. And then, okay, that banana going at that arc just right over the top is pretty relevant. It's, it's being very disruptive to Luma's gameplay as more and more damage racks up. Knock him away, left and right. But that Nair will create some space here. And okay, I like the spacing on the second one. You need a burst option right now if you're Luma. You want to set up in the corner, try to find like another armor or maybe a laser snipe. Something. But just the Frio's being a bully right now. Just just pecking away, playing really safe, playing really smart. And when Fritos, when they see there's an opening. Can take this. Oh, right. eats the up smash. We got last stock here, game two. The up smash out of shield is going to be a really clutch factor for Luma. Let's see if he can stay alive, though. Banana in hand into the up smash. Fritos, give it to us. Great stuff. Just playing fundamentally sound, walling out like the best of them. Didn't even allow Rob an opportunity to get like the game plan really started. All of his kills were just on the back foot. It was, it was like an up smash out of shield on just like a little bit of an overextension. Fritos, man, he was just moving and grooving. Fritos, uh, love what we saw from Fritos. And and Luma opened up the set like in in pretty convinced, you know, you're started off game one so hot. And when you got a rob with that kind of that kind of momentum, it's hard to overcome. But Diddy Kong playing from behind the first game and did not play from behind the second no, game. No, not for just, an instant. Just took took damage. My my buddy Fritos doing it. Love to see it. You love to see it. Very clean gameplay. Moving on to top 48 on the winner's side. I think that's the the biggest upset we've seen in this block for sure. I, I think the only upset, definitely the highest profile one. 